Good night. Good night.
Hi everyone, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Hi guys. Good night, how are you? Good evening. Connect the microphone directly. Thank you. Can you hear me guys? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Very nice. So thank you so much for, for joining today. Yes. Oh, okay. So thank you so much for joining today's class. Eh, si en algún momento no me escuchan, please me dicen. Si me escuchan cortadito, let me know, please. So thank you guys and welcome to station number four. Okay. Eh, today, pretty much, comenzamos eh, la segunda sesión, la segunda parte de nuestro módulo, right? Eh, I don't handle it. Okay, so how do you feel so far? ¿Cómo han sentido la plataforma? How do you feel classes? Eh, very good. Very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Easy, ok, I like it, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, si tienen como algún comentario en el camino, please no duden en hacérmelo, you know. Quizás sienten en algún momento que, sienten que vamos muy rápido, ¿no? No. Vamos bien. Está bien. Va, excelente, sí. I like it. Yeah, because algunas, ahorita es como vocabulario que ya sabemos, right? We are checking e intentando recordar. So, yesterday vimos como los numeritos. Ahora vamos con vocabulario. So, today vamos a trabajar un poco con vocabulario y vamos a comenzar también como un tema nuevo. So, me ayudan con las cámaras, please. Voy a pasar la primera asistencia. Let me go ahead and check attendance number one. And, uh, déjeme un segundito, solo déjeme ver si puedo activar la, el internet de forma directa. Sorry, I was trying to activate the internet, uh, the internet cable, pero no me permite. Así que, let's do it this way. Si en algún momento me escuchan como cortadito o algo, me avisan, please. Let me no, know. pase, no la tengo encendida. Ah, que pase, que no la tiene encendida. Uh, uh, no. Okay, guys, so, eh, a veces se nos activa el micrófono, right? Entonces, les, les pediría me ayuden revisando sus micrófonos, your cameras, um, just to be sure. So, Uh, let me go over attendance. Me ayudan con la cámara y cuando les menciona su nombre, me dicen present, please, para saber que es your beautiful voices. So, I got, well, ahora es primero de diciembre. So, we got Bismarck. Present. Thank you. Always there. Eh, Claudia Patricia. Eh, Edgardo Vladimir. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Evelyn Carolina. Present. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn Mariela. Present. Thank you so much. Fatima Elizabeth. Um, Francisco Alexander. Okay. Present. Thank you. Present. Gerardo Alexis. Present. Thank you. Gerardo, Germán Mejía. Present. Thank you. Uh, Gerson Rubén. Present. Thank you. Glenda Beatriz. Present. Gloria Elizabeth. Jorge Alberto. Okay. José Naum. Present. Thank you. Carla Marcela. Kelvin Miguel. Luis Mario. Present. Thank you. Carla Marcela. No está. And uh, Kelvin no está. María René. Present. Thank you. Mirna Ismari. 
Nancy Carolina. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Okay. Roberto Antonio. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Sara Elisa. Silvia Ivonne. Present. Thank you. Jessica Odalis. Present. Thank you. Maria Angelica. Okay. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Eh, me faltó alguien. Oh, oh. A mí no me mencionó. Me lo marco. No la mencioné, mis permítame. Quizás se me. Ok, so I got Jorge y me hizo falta. ¿A quién no mencioné? A mí, Carla Estefan. Carla Marroquín. Carla Marroquín. Ya, yeah, got it. Thank you so much. Ok, guys, so gracias. Eh, thank you so much for, for being here, for being on time. Ok. And let's get started. Sara Belloso. Creo que sí la mencioné, Miss. Deme un segundito. Sara Elisa. Sara Elisa. Déjeme ver si la marqué. Sara, Sara, Sara. No, no la marqué. Ahorita la marco. Ok, thank you. Okay, guys, so let me, let's get started with the activities that we have today. So let me start sharing my screen. Eh, tengo como some, ya yeah, some friendly, eh, mm, dame un segundo. Okay, qué raro está esto. So I got, I got just yeah, some friendly reminders. Eh, okay, ya está. So this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be checking today vocabulary. Uh, this and these, vamos a ver la diferencia, how to use it, okay, and then we have just some practice. So first, vamos a comenzar con vocabulary, and I have an activity for you. I have an activity so everybody can practice vocabulary. Are you ready? Kind of. <laughs> okay, I guess that is a yes, I guess that is a yes. So, let me, let me just go over the next part. Se los voy a escribir acá, ok, para que sea like real time, all right? So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? We are going to play a game that is kind of, it's called category game, o vocabulary game, ok? So, con category, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. I can tell you, for example, name, wait, name, oh my God, ok, name <laughs> five fruits, ok? So, ustedes tienen que escribir en un cuaderno, in a piece of paper, eh, in your computer, donde sea, nombres de cinco frutas, right? Name of five fruits. El primero que termine, en el chat me escribe finished, o me escribe done, ok? Se los voy a escribir. So, y terminamos, ok? So, es como el primero termina y ya el juego termina. So, super fast. Uh, where is the chat here? Deme un segundito que el mouse está como bien delicado here. So, me pueden escribir, you can write two things here, done or you can write finished, okay? Lo que, lo que you think that is better. So, for example, ayúdenme con los cinco nombres de frutas. Help me with five names of fruit. Veo lemon, dígame las otras, tell me. Activate your microphones, please, because me... Pineapple. Pineapple, yes. Strawberry. Strawberry, three. Strawberry. Four. Watermelon. Watermelon, very good. Entonces, es como, es solo eso, right? Pero no lo vamos a hacer así, sino que en su cuaderno lo escriben y cuando las tengan, escriben don, ¿ya? No me las van a decir, no les van a escribir ahí en el chat porque les van a copiar, ¿ok? <ríe> so, that's no the idea. ¿Listo, chicos? ¿Are you ready? Yes? yes. Ready? Kind of? Yeah, ok, very good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Name, name es como escriben, right? Yes. So, eh, no me strawberry. Las... Yeah, that, that is definitely a name of fruit. Mm -hmm. So, everybody, no me las van a decir. Don't tell me. Watermelon. Them. Miss, creo que tenemos lag. <laughs> Guys, me escuchan como después. 
escuchamos bien. Eh, no, se le escucha. Acorde ¿Me escuchan a lo bien? Que hablan. Ajá, ok. So no tenemos lagging. Ok. Eh, sí, sí, de hecho, por eso vamos a hacerlo eh, escribiendo don para que no haya lagging, right? Eh, si en algún momento me escuchan como más atrás de, de, de lo que estoy diciendo, me avisan que eso es un lagging con el internet. Ok. So, if we are ready, let's go. Name five animals. Everybody, name, oh my God. Name five animals. No lo van a escribir, remember. Don't write it, don't write it. Animals. Don't write it. Solo me avisan cuando ya terminen. Lion. Solo cuando tengan los cinco, guys. Solo cuando ya tengan los cinco. Escríbame dos, solo cuando tengan los cinco. Ok, so, ¿quién fue la primera, Nancy? Yes. Ok, Nancy was the first. Stop it, stop it, guys, stop it. Solo es como el primero escribe y ya no más, ya no más. Ok. So, uh, Nancy, díganos los cinco. Tell us the five animals you got. Ok. Eh, elephant. Elephant. Girafa. Two. Lion. Lion. Dog. Dog. Gat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, very good. Very good, but that's all right. So, Nancy has a point. Voy a escribir, I'm going to write it there. Voy a escribir en el chat para que ya nadie más me escriba, right? So, Nancy, Nancy, one point. Okay, desde ahí, el primero que vean Don, ya no escriba más, okay? Because that's like, es el primero, it's the first person. So, vamos a escribir, we are going to write después de Gerardo. Okay, everybody, let's go with the following. Name, oh my God, me, no sé qué me pasa. Okay, name five, name five food names in English, no Spanglish, in English, lo que sea que se pueda comer. Name five food names in English. Solo me escriben don cuando ya tengan los cinco, right? Y escriban los guys, write them in English. No es Spanglish. No escriban mango ni papaya. So, <laughs> food names. So, 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 nobody, still nobody? Don, Jorge, okay, Jorge's done, everybody. Let's stop it there. So, Jorge, tell us, what are the five food that you remember? Okay, uh, soup, hamburger. Soup, hamburger? Beef. Beef? Popcorn and hot dog. Popcorn and hot dog, yes, very good. So, So, Jorge has one point and Nancy has the other point. Very good. So, Jorge, I'm going to write it down. Jorge, one point. Si no se me olvida. Okay. So, guys, let's go with the last one. Vamos con la última. Okay. And the last one is name five objects in your house. Name five objects in your house. Cinco objetos de la casa. Name five objects in your house. Write it in the chat cuando terminen. Yes. Oh, I see a lot of dons. Okay. Francisco, you were the first person, Francisco. Uh, then I see Jorge, Maria Rene, Herson, ya casi, guys. Francisco, let's go with you. Díganos cinco objetos. Tell us five objects. Y lo que escribió, what you wrote. Okay. Uh, 
Ok, chair, table, chair, windows, table, window. TV, TV. O tele television, radio. Yeah. Yes, very good. Okay, nice. That's very good. Okay, everybody. So, bien jugado. Very well played. Okay. But, unfortunately, tenemos tres personas con un puntito cada uno. And the rest, that was very good. Very nice job. So, la próxima ganamos. No worries. So, this is what we are going to be practicing today. A lot of vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary related to the things that you see in your house. Related to the things que tienen en los bolsillos, probably. And I want to start the class today sharing one video from the platform. So yesterday, les pedí que me ayudaran con la plataforma, right? A completar los primeros ejercicios y la sesión número uno. Today, we are going to go ahead with number two. The objective of the class is to get familiar with common le object language that people have their backs, okay? So we are going to get familiar uh, con esto lo que acabamos de hacer exactamente. What do you have in your bag? Okay. Que andan en los bolsillos, que andan en la cartera. What do you have in your backpack? All right. Eh, obviously, esos son objetos muy grandes. What well, we just saw. Pero revisemos some vocabulary and some of the things que sí podemos andar. Let me play the video for you. And uh, solo me confirma si escuchan el audio. Give me one second. Let me make this bigger and let me play it. Hi, everyone. Escucharon hi, everyone? Escucharon el yes, hi? Yes. 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 Le voy a subir un poquito de volumen. Yes. I'm going to yes. change the volume y me voy a mutear. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bag. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. Hi, everyone. Okay, everybody. So, what do you remember from here? De qué objetos se recuerdan? What uh, objects did you listen to? CD player. CD player, yes. ¿Qué más? What else? Key, key. Cell phone. Key. Cell phone. Camera. A camera. Wallet. Wallet. Okay. Sunglasses, hairbrush. Okay. Hairbrush. A mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, cell phone. Case. Mm -hmm. Case. A cell phone or a cell phone, both are okay. Both are definitely good. Okay. Very nice. So, give me just a second. Okay, everybody. So now let's take a look and uh, think a little bit about your own bag. Okay. Pensemos un poquito en su propio, en su mochila, en su maleta, en sus bolsillos. All right. And some of the things that you normally get there. For example, sunglasses. I never get sunglasses. Yo nunca uso like sunglasses. CD player. Uh, this is kind of old. Todos tenemos a cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone on the back, right? Hairbrush. Uh, I don't have a hairbrush, yeah? A wallet. I got a wallet. I got a cell phone. Keys. Yes, of course, they are necessary. A veces ando mi computadora. I got my computer. So I will give you some minutes. Hagamos una lista. Let's make a list of de las cosas que ustedes andan in your bag. So everybody, what's in your bag? Si andan algo que no está acá, que el vocabulario sea nuevo, pueden irse a un diccionario. You can take a look at your translator. Y hacen la lista. Buscamos la palabra y vamos incrementando nuestro vocabulario. Right? So, les voy a dar cinco minutitos. No, creo que es mucho. I will give you a three, four minutes para que hagamos una lista de cosas. All right? Si quieren confirmar algo, me pueden escribir en el grupo de chat o activamos el... 
el micrófono. That's totally fine. Eh, guys, ¿está claro? ¿Is it clear lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, maybe. <laughs> okay, very good. Si tienen dudas, please, no, no, no se preocupen. Pregunten, ask, ask questions. So, les doy cuatro minutitos para que escriban what's in your bag. Okay, everybody. So, uh, do you need more time? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, very good. So, if we are ready, I'm going to send you some minutes para que podamos ir a los grupos. We can go to our groups um, and we can listen to more vocabulary, right? Everybody has different things in the back, okay? For example, uh, yo ando... No sé qué ando. My computer. I always have my computer. Ando una botella de agua. I have a bottle of water, right? 
I have maybe some napkins and the tiro, you know, like teachers and stuff, okay? So, es de vocabulario tal vez diferente al que usted anda. Probably, algunos andan herramientas. Some people, los he visto, you know, con cubos and con tenazas and things like those. So, that is the idea. Get more vocabulary, listen to your classmate, y escriban el vocabulario nuevo, right? Ya saben cómo deletrear, así que le pueden pedir al compañero. How do you spell that? ¿Cómo se deletrea, right? How do you spell that word? What is that? Okay, ¿cómo se usa? If it's new. So I will give you some minutes. Everybody, let's go to the group and let's practice vocabulary. Al regresar me van a comentar qué palabras aprendieron. What words you learned from your classmates. So let's get there. Go everybody. Go, go, go. Hey guys, eh, Evelyn, Roberto, tenemos algún, eh, recibieron el invite, recibieron la invitación. Eh, Oscar, ¿le gustaría que se los envíe nuevamente? Definitivamente tiene que andar mi calculadora, mi teléfono <ríe> y la, uh, no debe faltar. Profesor, I have a question. Profesor, how do you say eh, alcohol gel? Miss. No nos escucha aquí eso. Professor? Sorry, yes. sorry guys. The thing is that ah, I was okay. I was looking somewhere else. So me encontré el unmute. <laughs> ah, okay. uh, you can say alcohol. Yes. So alcohol is, is fine or sanitizer. 
So you can also say sanitizer. Mm -hmm. so sanitizer. Guys, yeah, what do, you, what do you normally have in your bag? Okay, for example, me, mm -hmm. uh, you can find my keys, uh, my cell phone, a wallet with my documents, an agenda, my toothbrush, uh, uh, toothpaste, okay. uh, my cell phone charger, okay. and alcohol head. Oh, okay. That's very good. My bag is super small, so I have money, maybe some cents. I got my, my purse, my small purse, documents my id um, alcohol uh, and that's it <laughs> i don't have a lot of things yeah luis what about you i couldn't hear you before my counter is the face masks alcohol okay coins mm -hmm. gloves este. okay Phone. Okay. Y este, de los compañeros que agregué en mi vocabulario. Okay. Es notebook, All iPad, right. okay. document. Okay. Y este, y ID, yes. parece que dijo usted. ID, yeah, ID is do we, you know, ah. cualquier identificación. So you can say ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very good. I like it. Uh, did you finish? Did you listen to Sara as well? Okay, I guess that is a yes. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's go back to the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to the meeting. Give me a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for coming back. Now let's take a look at some of the vocabulary that you got. I believe uh, we always learn from our classmates. So tell me, what did you learn? What new vocabulary did you also a love recording? What happened? Okay, so tell me. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, guys, so tell me, any volunteer? Do I have any volunteer? And <laughs> no okay. volunteers. Francisco, okay. thank you so much. So first I will go with Francisco. He has the hand up. Okay. Uh so tell us what new vocabulary did you learn from your classmates? Uh, ¿Qué vocabulario uh, aprendió? Es, 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 screw drive. <laughs> es screw drive de ser ¿no? Um tooth, toothpaste and toothpaste. Uh, okay. In my case, only now toothbrush because toothpaste, no. Ah, very good. So toothbrush, toothpaste, and the screwdriver. That's yes. very interesting. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Very good. Anybody okay. else? Silvia, what about you? What new vocabulary did you learn? New? No. Not new vocabulary? Nothing no. new? Okay, okay, no. that's all right. Uh, Herson, Herson Ruben, what about you? What new vocabulary did you listen to? Headphones. Headphones? Okay. Yes. And um, water, water of water. 
a bottle of water and headphones. That's it. Okay, very good. Maria Rene, what about you? New vocabulary is charger. Okay. Glasses. Yes. And mm, mm, finish. Okay, so glasses. Use repeat, use repeat and vocabulary in con los demás. Ah, okay, like very similar. You had similar things. Okay. Yes. But charger, yeah. that's a very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, guys, now if we go over the following thing. We are going to present some of the things que tengan alrededor. Okay, so we are going to take it y nos va a decir cómo se llama, right? Or vayan a buscar su maleta, <laughs> go for your bag, y revisen que andan ahorita, right? <laughs> now, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. For example, I got my cell phone. So I can say, this is my cell phone. Okay, this is my cell phone. Uh, I normally have like one charger, but I got two. Okay, so these are my chargers. Yeah, now one more time. This is my charger. And these are my chargers. What is the difference? These are, I'm going to use it for plural. And this is, I'm going to use it for singular. Let's watch a video so we can take a look at the differences between this is and these are. Y para que también lo escriban, so you can listen to this. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me share this with you. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can all look at it. And uh, we have here like the differences between both. So let me play it. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're gonna listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T H I S, whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these, that spell out T H E S E, whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article a from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object but instead two or more if we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us we will ask in the following way what are these their earrings or their cameras for example right for our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions. And 
Okay, everybody. So let's take a look at this one more time. We use this is to talk about the object that is close to me y que solo es uno. This is my cell phone. Solo tengo uno, right? So let's take a look at this. Si tengo dos o más, I cannot use this is, but I'm going to use these are, yeah? These are cameras. What are these? They are earrings, yeah? So the example here, it says, what are these? ¿Qué son estas? What are these? They are keys. What about two? What's this? ¿Qué es esto? Es un, un solo coso, right? It's a CD player. What about this? Yeah. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cuál puedo usar? La, ¿El ejemplo del uno o el ejemplo del dos? Para el número tres. Two. Number two. So, Number what two. is this? Yeah. What is this? It is. What is this, guys? Es una mochila. It is a backpack. It is a bag. Okay. Back. It is a box. Okay. So that's the way we use it. What about the example right here? What? ¿Lo vamos a usar el ejemplo del uno o el ejemplo del dos? What? 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 What is this? What is this? What is this? So what is this? Como solo es uno, it is. It is? It is a watch. It is a watch. Perfect. Now number five. What? What is this? What is this? It is? It is? It's a cell phone. It is a cell phone. Yeah, very good. Now, number six. Number six is very interesting porque son varios, you know? Son como dos cositos. So, what are these? What are these? What are these? What are these? ¿Y puedo usar esta respuesta? They are They are sunglasses. They are sunglasses. So, let me let me go back. Okay, let me go back to the conversation because the conversation is very interesting and I want you to practice doing this. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Yo sé que estamos lejitos, pero vamos a intentar tener esa conversación así bien bien casual. Uh, imagine que están teniendo una videoconferencia con su amigo and it's like, "Hey, what's this?" Okay? And you can say something like, oh, it's a cell phone. Tomen lo primero que tengan más cerca de ustedes, right? Oh, um, oh, it's a cup. Okay, so lo primero que tengan, like very close. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. Hello. Vamos a cambiarlo. Hey, thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Herman. Thank you, Mary. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Now, open this box. Vayan a buscar una cajita rapidito, cualquier caja que encuentren. I got a box. Let me go. So, I got a box right here. Okay. So I can say like, now open this box, yeah? And I, oh my God, what can I put in there? Uh, so, pueden poner lo que sea, anything that you got there, okay? And you can simply say something like, oh, what are these? Or what is this, right? Depende que hayan puesto adentro. And look, I got a... I got one charger. Oh, this is a charger. So these are chargers. Oh, very interesting. Thank you. They are very nice. Yeah. So vamos a intentar tener la misma conversación, pero en el sentido que estamos lejos, right? So let's try to keep the conversation. Vamos a organizarla, okay? O pueden hacerle como, hey, look at this. Look at the box. And then, what is that? Yeah. So vamos a practicar. Imagine, imagínense, imagine que estamos cerca y estamos teniendo esta conversación, right? So, get a box, guys. Busquen una cajita, busquen un par de objetos que tengan a la mano. Pueden ser unos tenedores, you know, anything that you get there. Cookies, food, and we are going to practice. Y si pueden poner muchas cosas en la cajita, that would be great. Oh, this is... Um, You know, this is a fork, this is a plate, this is a cup, this is, so para que practiquemos this is and this are, okay? So, chicos, más o menos, we got the idea? Comprendemos la idea? Did we get the idea? Yes? Ya veo a Claudia lista con la cajita. Yes. We're good. <laughs> yes, teacher. I see her ready. Very nice. I like it. Okay. So, yes, teacher. Um, 
Vamos a hacerlo en parejas. We are gonna do this in pairs. No, somos muchos. Vamos a hacerlos en grupo. We are going to do this in groups, ¿ok? So, para que todos podamos escuchar y participar. So, everybody, let's go. Let's go to the groups. Eh, Herman, eh, tiene la invitación. Do you have the invitation? Jessica, tiene la invitación, chicos. Sara. Herman logra ver como un algo así, algo que le, le apareció que dice join, que dice join. No, no, no me salió. No. Pero es mm, vale, Deme, sí, quizás no, no se le terminó de enviar. Deme un segundito y ya se le envío. Vaya, revise ahora. Hoy sí. Vaya, perfecto, gracias. Yes. <laughs> I have cell phone. <laughs> I have cell phone. <laughs> I have a lamp. I am hard. This. <laughs> okay. A cream. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's not in mute. So, in your bag, in su mochila. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. yes. La mujer super preparada. I got nothing in my bag. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, continue. Uh, this is, these are, go guys, go, go. Mm. Oh. Wendy. Wow, what is? What is? Creo que así se, se pronuncia. Mm -hmm. Eh, después dice Helen, it's, it's a camera. Uh -huh. eh, después sigue Wendy y dice, oh, cool, thank you, Helen, it's great. Uh -huh. eh, Helen dice, you are welcome, you are welcome. Eh, después dice Rex, no open this box. Me imagino que abran la caja. Uh -huh. Wendy, okay. Oh, what have those? This. Uh, Red dice, they, they are airing. Y Wendy dice, oh, they are. It's interesting. Thank you, Red. They are very nice. Pero bueno, uh -huh. no sé cómo, cómo lo haríamos allá. Creo que sería, perfecto. ajá, sería como, eh, ¿quién quiere ser Wendy? ¿Quién quiere ser Helen? Yo puedo ser Wendy. Va, entonces Big Man Helen. Oh. Ya. <risa> pues empezando, bueno, no ya empezando, güey. Pero se pasa rápido. Se pasa rápido el tiempo. Se pasa rápido el tiempo. Hey guys. Time flies. So el tiempo ¿Mm? vuela. Time flies. Time flies. <risa> Okay, guys. So, uh, uh, how was your conversation? Did you make it? 
pudieron hacerla? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Right, great, great, great. Okay, very good. So, uh, I'm going to be asking for volunteers, and I have you volunteer, guys. <laughs> I want mm. to So, let me close the meeting. I'll see you in the other meeting. Ok, everybody, so thank you so much for coming back. Eh, todavía me faltan algunos que están en el breakout room. So they will join us in a couple of minutes. Uh, the idea pretty much es como hacer una conversación. Eh, no es lo mismo estar face to face uh, than this way, but we are going to try. Ok, así que, I mean, tomen algunos objetos que tengan en su mesa, in your living room, anything. The idea is practice vocabulary and to practice this. This is, these are, right? Um, so you can ask your classmate, hey, what do you have there? ¿Qué tienes alrededor? What do you have around? O usamos la conversación, right? Totally fine. Pueden inventar nuevas cosas. You can make up new things and that's all right. So, sure. uh, yes. Eh, eh, había un compañero en la charla que estuve que tenía un cuadro de foto atrás uh -huh. y yo le quería preguntar qué es lo que tenés atrás pero no pero no no es verdad what is, what is this verdad um, no en este caso no porque estamos lejitos right desde okay. el momento que no estamos como face to face yo sí puedo decir hey what is this porque está como uh -huh. acá right next to uh -huh. me okay. Pero uh -huh. si lo tienen como, por ejemplo, yo veo que Nancy tiene algo, pero no logro identificar qué es lo que tiene en los brazos. So yo le puedo preguntar, ya no sería this, sino que sería that, porque están lejos. So, Nancy, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a, a panda. <laughs> ok, so that's a panda. Sería that, porque es a, como ahí, allá, right? Entonces cambiamos un poquito, ya no es this, sino that, para lejos. Pero vamos a verlo luego, así que no se preocupen, no worries about this. Vamos como little by little. Eh, so, in the meantime, ya casi no tenemos tiempo, pero vamos a escuchar un par de compañeros. Francisco, would you like to volunteer? ¿Quieres ser voluntario? Yes, thank you, Francisco. So, Francisco's group, I'm going to take that as a yes. So, I get Francisco, Francisco, Francisco. Fíjese que, fíjese que no le escuché muy bien, porque no sé si mi internet es el malo. No se preocupe, yo ya lo tomé como mi voluntario. So, Francisco's group, I see Claudia, Patricia, Francisco, Alexander, José, Naum, and Sara, Elisa. Chicos, ayúdenme con su conversación, please. Help me with your conversation. Ok, what is this? Guys, Naum. Is this cell phone? Ok, eh, what, are, what are these? Um, headphones. No. What are these? Headphones. It is headphones. Headphones. Mm. It is, is headphones. Es que What is this? Yo, yo creo, yo creo que, que como le, que como en, en español son audífonos, ¿verdad? Por That's a plural. Pregunto, yo, yo por eso les pregunté what are these entonces creo que la respuesta es it's are uh, headphones yeah, como lo de la plataforma sí. podemos usar they are para que sea ah, más pero, fácil perdón, ellos sería, they are they, they are, are perdón sí perdón they are 
Ajá, sí, porque sería plural, right? They are yes, headphones yes, yes. or they are ear. Okay. Normalmente esto, la diademita, son headphones. Lo de puntitos pueden ser uh, earphones. Uh, mm -hmm. earphones. Earphones are good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Teacher, okay. y, 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 y la respuesta puede ser de, there are, eh, o, they. This, o, o this, they are, o, 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 o puede ser this are. Todo depende. Si están como cerca, remember, this, uh, this and this es como para cerca, pero yo los tengo lejos. Entonces, I would use they are. Lo, utilizaría, utilizaría solamente ellos son. They are. Ah, ok. O sea que this, eh, this y this se utiliza solo cuando está cerca. Sí, correcto. Por eso es que cuando hablábamos de, del peluche que Nancy tiene, no podría ser what is this, sino what is that. Porque cambia totalmente el enfoque. Todo depende de la cercanía donde usted lo tenga. Uh -huh. Ok, guys. Una eh, Luis. That, that, ¿Cómo se deletreas? Sure. I'm going to write it in the chat. Solo que no, no quiero confundirlos ahorita. Pero es un that. That. Lo van a ver. Lo vamos a ver luego. Lo vamos a ver later on. That is a that. That is. Uh -huh. Ok, everybody. What is this? Um, so, based on the things that we got, eh, remember this part, this is, es como para cerca, and these are, es para cerca también, pero para plurales, right? So, el, el that, lo vamos a revisar luego. So, um, kind of clear, un poquito claro con eso, are you kind of clear on that? Questions, do you have any question, guys? What is the homework? Yeah, very good question. So what is the homework? Okay, so let me let me share the homework of today. Oh, perdón, eso en la, en la sesión 3. Okay, the homework for tomorrow. It's actually, start working on session number, permítame un segundo que, en hasta ese punto, my internet ya no quiere. Yes, all bien. Okay. Section number two. What is this actually? Es el nombre. So, ahora trabajamos eh, hasta la, esta de acá. 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 y 2.3. This is and these are. So, ¿cuál es su tarea, guys? Completar hasta la 2.4. You are going to complete for tomorrow out to 2.4, que es el knowledge check. Si se fijan, la 2.7 es del verbo to be. Yes, no, where questions would be. Si alguien puede completar hasta la 2.7 para el día de mañana, sería excelente porque así podemos solamente practicar y explicar como menos, you know. Ven el video, acá solamente lo vemos one more time para clarificar o para eh, verificar algo que no haya quedado claro y avanzamos con la parte de knowledge check, all right? So that can be for tomorrow. Mm, chicos, any question? Antes de irnos, alguien dijo por ahí, el tiempo vuela. Time flies. I know. I'm flying. But you did like a very nice job today. So no questions? Mm, okay, so I think that's a no. So everybody, thank you so much for your attendance today. Yo sé que algunos tuvieron dificultades técnicas, but thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow, and please no nos quedemos con las tareas pendientes. Intentamos completarlas. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Thank you. Good night.